A singer, actress, entertainer and celebrity chef Maria Cadero, Hong Kong is not just a vibrant, exciting city to call home, but also a place where gourmet fantasies can come true. The Macau-born longtime Hong Kong resident was in town for a special cookout session at the Bajaya University of Hospitality recently to promote Hong Kong Food and Wine Year. In Hong Kong, uh, a lot of people knows we are having a free tax in wine. So that you have different kind of wine from France, from Italy, from Australia, from everywhere around the world that pile in because it's free tax, you see. So for us to enjoy, we can use the very minimum price to enjoy the best wine. And food, uh, for Hong Kong for the past so many years, we have all five star, six star hotel, and a lot of them that import, of course Hong Kong is so small, we import everything. And then also is the beauty of that, we have basically, you call about vagabond from Japan, from Australia, any kind of nice, you know, um, like the eggplant from Italy, tomatoes, you have every ingredients. You, you want it from Malaysia, from Thailand, from uh, Europe, from everywhere, you know, China, you, you have it there, you name it, you have it there. Entertaining the crowd with her witty anecdotes, musical repertoire, as well as some of her own culinary creations like rice cooker chicken, mushroom porcini oat rice, and mushroom cappuccino, Cordero gave everybody present a true taste of Hong Kong cuisine. As only the second Asian city to be awarded its very own Michelin Guide, Hong Kong has long been famous for its diverse and delicious culinary treats and fine dining. So in a bid to reinforce the city's image as one of the world's culinary capitals, the Hong Kong Tourism Board has launched Hong Kong Food and Wine Year to attract tourists to come visit. Hong Kong have um, the most expensive one and the most cheapest one. It depends, you know. Sometimes it's not that the value of the food. A lot of people say, you know, where is the best dining? The best dining is what you love to eat. You know, I believe eating food is very emotional. Uh, like wonton noodles. There's different kind of wonton noodles, but you must come to Hong Kong. You must try wonton noodles in Hong Kong. The noodles is so crunchy, but we only have wonton inside. It's a little bit different from Singapore and Malaysia because the wonton there is char siu. We don't have it. Right. We have only wonton and the noodles. To raise the profile and spread the word about Hong Kong food and wine year, the Hong Kong Tourism Board has partnered with the Asian Food Channel in an online, on the ground and on-screen campaign that will run until October. As part of the campaign, the Hong Kong Tourism Board along with the Asian Food Channel will play host to a variety of stars like Maria Cadero who will demonstrate the diversity of Hong Kong cuisine, reveal their favourite easing haunts and explain more about the vast array of food and wine available in the city. For the Macau born personality, who is also fondly known as Fat Mama Maria, Hong Kong's reputation as a gourmet paradise is well deserved. Yes, yes, I really feel so, you know, because every day I'm, even myself, besides cooking at home, I look for different places to have wine and have good food and atmosphere also. They can provide that. And her very favorite Hong Kong dish? I like, you know, I like, you know. <laughs> I like this uh, Naichonto, of course, I like Fagua, I like, uh, well, but if you say Hong Kong dishes, I have to say wonton noodles. By the end of the cookout session, Cordero's delicious creations served as a mouth-watering reminder of just what Hong Kong food can do for the taste buds. I would like people to come over and, and feel it. You see, Hong Kong people, there is a lot of people say, oh, Hong Kong people walk very fast. Enjoy that little, little, little country, very small, but we have everything there. And people really work very hard to achieve. We don't have water. We don't have our own rice. We don't have rice field. We don't have vegetables, we don't have anything. Everything is import. So why Hong Kong is so small, you cannot even see it in the map. Why is it so successful, everybody's talking about? because we use our heart to do things. And I hope you come and enjoy it. And after all, everything's cheap, you know? Now it's on sale. With this year being the Hong Kong Food and Wine Year, there is no better time to go and enjoy the city's gastronomic delights. This is Zach Yusof for The Star Online.